welcome to Maggie's Kitchen Playground. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I make sushi pizza. I know it sounds weird, but it's really tasty. You guys should try it. So what you need is prepare a seaweed, shredded mozzarella cheese, and of course the sushi rice. If you don't know how to make sushi rice, I make a short tutorial. You can click above here, go check it out. I created two flavors of sushi pizza. One is Korean style, which has kimchi and chicken barbecue. Another is Japanese style that I put salmon and wasabi mayonnaise. Also, I put these two seasoning with my sushi pizza. One is uh, Japanese style rice seasoning, it's called furikake. And another is Korean barbecue marinade sauce. You can get them at your local Asian market and I will put the link below where you can purchase online. So let's get started! For the first flavor, let's make kimchi chicken barbecue pizza. Here's what you need. Chop the kimchi into small chunks. If you don't want to make your cutting board dirty, you can use your kitchen scissors to cut it. Trim the fat off the chicken. Here I use chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast instead, but I highly recommend use chicken thigh. It's way more tender and juicy. Cut it into small pieces. Put 2 tablespoons of barbecue sauce and marinate it for 10 minutes. Preheat a pan and add some oil. Now cook your chicken. Take the chicken out and mix it with kimchi and mayo. I left out some kimchi to sprinkle on my pizza later. The kimchi chicken barbecue is now done. Now let's move on to wasabi mayo salmon pizza. Here's what you need. First, let's chop the onion. Here's a little tip for you. When you slice the onion, don't cut through the head. This way the onion won't go everywhere. Cut your salmon into little cubes. Add onion, add wasabi mayo. If you don't have it, you can use regular mayo instead. Now you are all set to put the toppings on your pizza. Yay! Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Lay the seaweed on the baking sheet and add sushi rice evenly. Place your two flavors accordingly. For the wasabi mayo salmon, I sprinkled some furikake on the rice. If you don't have it, you can skip this step. For the kimchi chicken barbecue, let's put the rest of kimchi on the pizza. And then it's time to sprinkle the cheese on top. Put it in the oven and bake for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take the sushi pizza out. Slice it and serve. Put some furikake on top and then it's time to eat. Yum! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to watch more Maggie's Kitchen Playground, don't forget to subscribe. Do you have any other ideas for the sushi pizza? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time. Bye!